Interest dropping and the world economy. What does this mean for you and your financial security? Today, I spoke with UT economics professor Dr. Daniel Hammermesh for his perspective. There are always fluctuations. This one's bigger than usual. I wouldn't pay too much attention to it unless you're very heavily involved in the stock market on a day-to-day -day basis. So folks with a 401k, best advice is keep on putting money in regularly, invest for the long term. The return on stocks over a 50-year period is about 7 or 8 percent, maybe 5 or 6 after inflation. That's real good. It means your money doubles in purchasing power every 10 or 12 years. Stick with it, be steady, and don't worry about these things. Where do you think the bottom is in this market? I have no idea. These short-run fluctuations, I don't predict. The main thing is, though, that this has nothing much to do with the real economy. We're not headed for a recession by any means at all. People are saying China is to blame. Is that your view? Well, certainly China had a huge bubble in their stock market, and that bubble has now burst, and that spills over to the rest of the world. But again, these fluctuations go up and down all the time. So I don't see Janet Yellen raising interest rates in the next four months at all. That'll help the economy. It'll help people buy houses. It'll help businesses buy, borrow on, on credit. So that's a good thing. Investors worry tomorrow could hold more losses. Markets in Asia are already opening right now. Early numbers show China's market is down another 6 to 7 percent.